It's news on this Sunday. MPs from Mount Kenya, allied to Deputy President William Ruto, say they will kickstart negotiations on the political future of the region ahead of the 2022 succession. The lawmakers who met last night resolved to mount a strong campaign to deliver the vote-rich basket for Deputy President William Ruto. Stephen Leto reports on the injuries. With President Uhuru Kenyatta's term at the country's helm 15 months to the end, the 2022 succession drumbeats have begun to gather the tempo. A section of MPs from the president's backyard and have been championing for DP William Ruto Stetter's race are slowly gathering their troops from the mountain in readiness for the Royal Rumble. Citizen TV has established a night meeting that was held last night at Mathira MP Rigathi Gashagwa's home. MPs drawn from 11 counties from the Mount Kenya region all gathered in the night meeting that was planned since Monday. The meeting was ostensibly crafted to oil the anti-Uhuru politics in the Mount Kenya region with the Ruto allied lawmakers agreeing to defy President Kenyatta's perceived status as leader of the region. The MPs in the meeting outlining their irreducible minimums that they intend to present to DP Ruto. The candidate who will agree with us on what needs to be done to revive the economic fortunes of our people is a candidate we shall back. Only when we agree on those interventions. Among them are the position the region will get should they fully back his candidate charm. The positions of deputy president and ministerial positions as well as deputy president slot, prime minister slot, deputy prime minister slot, should the BBI changes sail through were also mooted. And we did agree that uh, we must, we should open up negotiations immediately with Dr. William Ruto. And if we agree on phase one, and phase one are the economic programs and interventions for our region, and that is our first priority. Then we go into phase two. And phase two will be our involvement and participation in this government. What positions will be available to the people of Mount Kenya in this government? According to sources, the meeting resolved to set up separate teams that will negotiate on behalf of the Mount Kenya region in what was seen as an escalation of hostilities between the Kieleweke and Tanga Tanga factions in the region. In addition, the lawmakers tasked their groups to push the region's agenda by holding public gatherings in all the 11 counties. The night-long meeting resolving to task Gatundu South lawmaker Moses Kuria to lead economic negotiations for the region with the MPs keen on securing a bigger seat in the Tanga Tanga negotiations. MPs Ndindi Nyoro, John Kiarie and John Mushiri have been paired with Kuria. This team will also among others unpack the BBI proposals to the region with a root wing opposed to the constitutional amendments. Kikuyu MP Kimani Chungwa, his Kandara counterpart Alice Wahome, Mathiras Rigathi Gashagwa and Senator Susan Kehika will also lead another the team that will be holding public barazas to galvanize the region's support. We are going to have a discussion in the next two weeks, the opening discussions with Dr. William Ruto, so that we agree on the terms of engagement, we agree on how we are going to discuss, and we want to assure the people from the region that the team we have picked is competent. Last night's meeting, coming as silent behind the door meeting, seemed to have kicked off in earnest. With the most recent meeting reported between ODM Deputy Party Leader Wycliffe Oparanya and Deputy President William Ruto, sparking speculations of a possible reunion between Ruto and his rival Raila Odinga, which the Deputy President dismissed. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV, Nairobi. All right. Take a quick break.